Hello everyone, welcome to my classroom Easy and Inspire. In today's class, I am going to deal with encoders and types of encoders. So, what is an encoder? In general, encoder is a circuit or device that converts data from one form to another form. So, in digital electronics, encoder is used to convert decimal number into binary. So, we know decimal number 0 to 9. So, we need to convert decimal numbers into binary by using this encoder circuit. So, in digital electronics and digital circuit, encoder is a combination circuit that is used to represent n bit code for the input data. Here, input data is 0 to 9. n bit code is nothing but the binary values. For encoder circuit, we need to take 2 power n input lines and n output lines. If n is equal to 2, so output lines are 2, input lines are 2 power to 4. Similarly, if n equal to 3. 8 input lines, 3 output lines. Similarly, if n equal to 4, 16 input lines and 4 output lines. Next, I am taking 4 to 2 encoder circuit. So, 4 to 2. Why I am taking 4 to 2? Because if n equal to 2, the encoder is having 4 input lines and 2 output lines. So, 4 input lines. So, 4 input values are represented using 2 binary numbers. So, 4 to 2 encoder. So, let's take 4, D3, D2, D1, D0 inputs and A1, A0 outputs. This is the block diagram of 4 to 2 encoder. And I am writing truth table here. D3, D2, D1, D0 inputs and A1, A0 outputs. So, D3 is 0, D1 is 0, sorry D2 is 0, D1 is 0, D0 is 1, D0 is 1 here means D0 is activated here. So, it is activated. So, 0, decimal 0 is the input for this encoder circuit. Decimal 0, we have to represent decimal 0 using two binary values. Observe carefully. Decimal 0, we have to represent using two decimal values, sorry, binary values. So, decimal 0, we know it is represented using 0 and 0. Similarly, come here. Okay, I will take um, So, here I am taking D1. So, this is activated. So, D1 is activated. Means, so this is the input. So, 1 is the input for encoder. We know 1 is represented as 0, 1. And next case, 2 is activated. So, 2 is input for this third line. So, for this encoder, 2 is input. So, 2 is input, decimal 2. We know 2 is represented as 1, 0. Similarly, last one, D3. D3 is activated here. So, 3 is the input for the encoder. We know decimal 3 can be represented as 1, 1. So, this is about truth table formation. So, next, Boolean expression writing. So, A1, observe, A1, A1 is 1, then D2 is 1 here. So, A1 is 1 for D2, A1 is 1 for D3. So, A1 is D2 plus D3. Next, A0, A0 is 1 for D1 and D3. A0 is D1 plus D3. This is about Boolean expression of 4 to 2 encoder circuit. Next, this is the logic circuit for 4 to 2 encoder. D3 plus D2. D3, D2 plus. So, I have to take OR gate. So, this is A1. Similarly, D3 plus D1. Again, I am taking OR gate. This is D3 plus D1. This is about 4 to 2 encoder circuit. Next, I am going to 8 to 3 encoder. 8 means nothing but octal. Octal to binary conversion encoder. I am taking octal numbers into binary conversion using this 823 encoder circuit. So, if I am taking n equal to 3, so if n is equal to 3, then so 2 power 3 outputs, so 2 power 3 inputs, so 8 inputs and 3 outputs. So, this is block diagram of 823 encoder circuit. Next, this is the truth table. So, truth table is having 
so 8 input lines 3 output lines so 8 input lines 3 output lines so consider first case so d7 to d1 all are zeros d0 is 1 means so d0 is activated here d0 is activated here so d0 is activated means d0 is the input for the 823 encoder so decimal 0 is the encoder we need to represent 0 using 3 binary values so we know 0 is represented as 0 0 0 similarly go for this one this case i am taking one here nothing but d3 so 3 is the input decimal 3 value is the input for our encoder circuit we know 3 can be written as 0 1 1 so observe 0 1 1 this is output similarly i'll take 6 here so d6 so decimal 6 it is the input so remaining are not activated so it is activated so it is the input and we know output is 1 1 0 observe here 1 1 0 so like that we have to fill all these values and boolean expressions for a2 a2 so 1 1 1 1 nothing but d4 d5 d6 d7 d4 d5 d6 d7 similarly a1 d2 d3 d6 d7 similarly a0 this is about truth table and boolean expressions forming for 823 encoder circuit next this is the logic circuit so i have expressions here and this is logic circuit for 823 encoder so observe this 4 5 6 7 or or all are added adding means nothing but or gate 4 5 6 7 i have taken and i am using or gate here output is d4 plus d5 plus d6 plus d7 similarly a1 and a0 this is logic circuit so far we have discussed 4 to 2 encoder and 8 to 3 encoder but these two encoders are having few drawbacks observe when all outputs of encoder are zero so this is the condition if all outputs are zero so it is going to represent zero here we don't know it is going to represent zero or sometimes 2 power 0 means 1 so there occurs some problem so there is an ambiguity when all outputs of encoder are equal to 0 because it could be the code corresponding to 1 or 0 in some cases that is first drawback second drawback so if more than one input is active high means observe in each and every condition only one input is activated remaining or are not activated in each and every condition if more than one input is activated then there occurs error in the output that is the second problem so to overcome these two problems i am going to give priorities to the input so that is nothing but using priority encoder so to overcome these difficulties we should assign priorities to input of encoder observe priority encoder so it is same as normal encoder but we are assigning we are giving priorities to input values so based on the priority output is generated here i am taking a 4 to 2 encoder so 4 inputs 2 outputs I am giving priority like this. Observe. Okay. I am assigning priority from top to bottom. So, this is having highest priority and this is having least priority. If this is activated, no need to check the 
remaining if this is activated no need to check the remaining so priority is going from top to bottom observe carefully highest priority next priority next and least priority so this is priority encoder this is the truth table for the priority encoder i am taking 4 by 2 so four inputs observe these are my four inputs two outputs then what about v v is nothing but a variable to know either these outputs are valid or invalid so to know the status of outputs either valid outputs or invalid i am taking a variable here and observe d3 d2 d1 d0 so as we have discussed d3 is having highest priority first i am going here so d3 is having highest priority so no need to consider the remaining so don't care about the remaining either 0 or 1 we don't want all this so d3 means decimal 3 write decimal 3 in binary so 3 can be written as 1 1 so after that go for second one so here 1 so no need to consider the remaining 2 so don't care about these two values either zeros or ones who cares so d2 means decimal 2 we know that decimal 2 is nothing but 1 0 next priority goes like this here 1 so no need to care about this value so 1 decimal 1 is nothing but 0 1 next one here decimal 0 nothing but 0 0 0 0 means decimal 0 so and this is last case an extra case i am taking all zero input condition i am taking all zeros here all zeros it results so we don't want all this so nothing but invalid output so this is invalid output so invalid output so i'm taking here x x so all these x are nothing but don't care conditions don't care conditions don't care means either 0 or 1 okay don't care means either 0 or 1 this is truth table i'm going from bottom to top because my highest priority is d3 so first this is activated so don't care about the remaining and second this one third one fourth one so go from bottom to top here d3 d2 d1 d0 so this is about truth table formation next boolean expressions for a1 and a0 observe here it is very very important a1 and a0 so a1 a1 is 1 here and 1 here so we don't know these two values we don't know these three values in this condition a1 is 1 so d3 is 0 d2 is 1 so d1 d0 may be either 0 0 or 0 1 or 1 0 or 1 1 four possibilities are there four possibilities are there for this one so i am taking here 0 1 again 0 1 0 1 so a1 is 1 for these four cases so it is completed next a1 is 1 here so d3 is 1 we don't know the remaining three the three values may be 0 0 0 or 0 0 1 or and so on 1 1 1 so i am taking 1 here because we know d3 so again i am taking 8 values so a1 is 1 for 4 values again 8 values total 12 values so observe 4 8 12 values a1 is 1 similarly a0 so see here a naught so a naught is 1 here so d3 is 0 
d2 is 0 d1 is 1 so d0 it is either 0 or 1 so two cases and next one again one here so it considers nothing but these values 8 plus 2 10 cases so here 12 cases here 10 cases so i have to place all these ones in k map see here for a1 1 2 3 4 4 into 3 12 ones for a0 so 8 plus 2 10 ones i have placed next x x because so that is nothing but zero i have to place don't care condition so i have placed here don't care condition i have placed here next grouping and writing the boolean expression i have grouped this and i have written boolean expressions here and for these boolean expressions observe i have drawn the logic circuit this is the logic circuit this is for a1 this is for a0 and this is for v we know v so see here v is nothing but 1 1 1 1 v is valid for all these cases so i am taking v is nothing but d0 plus d1 plus d2 plus d3 nothing but valid output conditions so this is very 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 important these two are very important and this is valid or invalid condition output this is about priority encoder thank you in next class we will deal with decoders so decoders perform the exact opposite operation of encoders thank you so the pdfs related to these lectures are mentioned below so go for this pdfs